Alcams or Coms is a city, port and the de jure capital of the now defunct Merkub district on the Mediterranean coast of Libya with an estimated population of around 202,000. The population at the 1984 census was 38,174. Between 1983 and 1995 it was the administrative centre of the Coms district. During the Italian occupation of Libya, the city was called Homs in the official Italian sources. The city appears to have been founded by a group of local Berbers sometime around 1000 BC, who gave it the libico berber name Lopgai. The town did not achieve prominence until Carthage became a major superpower in the Mediterranean Sea in the 4th century BC. It nominally remained part of Carthage's dominions until the end of the Third Punic War in 146 BC, and then became part of the Roman Republic, although from about 111 BC onward, it was for all intents and purposes an independent city. Soon Italian merchants settled in the city, and started a profitable commerce with the Libyan interior. The Republic and Rome sent some colonists together with a small garrison, in order to control the city. Since then the city started to grow, and was even allowed to create its own money. Leptus Magna remained as such until the reign of the Roman Emperor Tiberius, when the city and the surrounding area were formally incorporated into the empire as part of the province of Africa. It soon became one of the leading cities of Roman Africa and a major trading post. Leptus achieved its greatest prominence beginning in 193 AD, when a Berber native son, Lucius Septimius Severus, became emperor. He favoured his hometown above all other provincial cities, and the buildings and wealth he lavished on it made Leptus Magna the third most important city in Africa, rivaling Carthage and Alexandria. In 205 AD, he and the imperial family visited the city and received great honours. Among the changes that Severus introduced were to create a magnificent new forum, and to rebuild the docks. The natural harbour had a tendency to silt up, but the Severan changes made this worse, and the eastern wharves are extremely well preserved, since they were scarcely used. Leptus overextended itself at this period. During the crisis of the 3rd century, when trade declined precipitously, Leptus Magna's importance also fell into a decline, and by the middle of the 4th century comma even before it was completely devastated by the 365 Tsun army, large parts of the city had been abandoned. Aminus Marcellinus recounts that the crisis was worsened by a corrupt Roman governor named Romanus during a major tribal raid who demanded bribes to protect the city. The ruined city could not pay these, and complained to the Emperor Valentinian. Romanus then bribed people at court, and arranged for the lectern envoys to be punished for bringing false accusations. It enjoyed a minor renaissance beginning in the reign of the Emperor Theodosius I. In 439 AD, Leptus Magna and the rest of the cities of Tripolitania fell under the control of the Vandals when their king, Gesseric, captured Carthage from the Romans, and made it his capital. Unfortunately for the future of Leptus Magna, Gesseric ordered the city's walls demolished so as to dissuade its people from rebelling against Vandal rule. The people of Leptus and the Vandals both paid a heavy price for this in 523 AD, when a group of Berber raiders sacked the city. Belisarius recaptured Leptus Magna in the name of Rome ten years later and in 534 AD, he destroyed the kingdom of the Vandals. Leptis became a provincial capital of the Eastern Roman Empire, but never recovered from the destruction wreaked upon it by the Berbers. It was the site of a massacre of Berber chiefs of the Luthi tribal confederation by the Roman authorities in 543 AD. Historian Theodore Mommsen wrote that under Byzantine rule the city was fully Christian. During the decade 565-578 AD Christian missionaries from Leptus Magna even began to move once more among the Amazigh tribes as far south as the Pheasant in the Libyan desert, and converted the Garamantes. But the city's decadence, linked even to the Sahara's desertification, continued, even though new churches were built and by the time of the Arab conquest of Tripolitania in the 650s, 
The city was nearly abandoned, except for a Byzantine garrison force.